All right, we got a Vog Geek wireless mouse. So this thing just runs off of one double A. Has the built-in USB on the inside there. This just plugs in your it auto plug and plays with. Uh, so far, everything I've plugged into Windows 10 wise. But the downfall of this thing is that it never turns off. It is always on. Um, this button here is your uh, reconnect button. So if you have issues, you press it, reconnects. And it, I can't get it shut off. It doesn't do anything. You press this, doesn't do anything, it still stays on. You press these buttons, it still stays on. You take out, you know, the only thing you need to get turned off is take out the battery. There, saving battery power. For a portable wireless mouse, you need an off button. Now, I used it for gaming, it worked. This ball is smooth too as well. You know, the clicking works, there's no tactical feedback, it just, you know, you, you can feel it but there's no sounds, which is kind of cool, so you're not going, ch -ch 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 -ch, you know, you're, you're not making click, you know, you're not hearing that non-stop. It's just, you barely, barely hear it. Uh, so in that aspect, it's cool. Also responsive, I was gaming with it. I was using it on my tablet. I was using it on my computer. I used it at my work. It was pretty cool. I could just take this around and just toss in a USB and keep going. And it's super light. Like this is really light. I wouldn't think this would be good in my, you know, cause it's so light, but it does, it's smooth rolling. This is my little desk here, computer desk here. It's smooth rolling there. Um, smooth on top of a mouse pad. Other side of the mouse pad, it's still smooth. You know, I even got this style mouse pad as well and it's pretty smooth on this as well. You know, and it registers on, it registers on everything I've come across so far. I've had an issue with it not registering the, the mouse light but the, the, the issue is turning off. It doesn't happen, doesn't work, and in my opinion, that means this is, a, this is a fail. It just doesn't work because if I'm taking this to and from work every day or around town with my tablet, it, it's just eventually it's not gonna be good because there's, the battery's gonna die. And I have to always constantly have spare AA batteries just sitting around you know, my backpack, which is not something I do. I don't care answer about my backpack. Everything I have is pretty much rechargeable except for, uh, well, this mouse. Everything else recharges. Um, everything's micro USB or solar charging on my bag pretty much, including my power bag. So that's an issue for me, not having a way to turn this off. But I did like it, and it has lasted over a week in my backpack, uh, taking it out and using it to just sit in my backpack, and it gets beat up, you know, I, I, my bag, my bag gets tossed around through the back of the car, I pull it out, toss it back in the back of the car, throw it around the car while I'm pulling stuff out, so, in my bag, just by itself like this, it has been just fine, and it's been getting button pressed all the time, because I know it is, but there's still battery, it still works, it still connects, it still works on a computer, but it still doesn't turn off. I can't recommend it for that reason, unless you don't mind having spare batteries, or if you're having it at your desktop at home, I suppose having it on all the time might be a good idea. I like having an off switch on mine. This is what I normally carry is this thing. It's the Microsoft style, you know, it just has an off, off switch. A little, little, little tiny off switch right here. On the side right here. Or even open this up and double click, you know, press this down or something like that. Or, or, a, or a pressure switch for when this is in there, it's off because if this isn't plugged into the computer, this shouldn't be on. So if you push it in, it should automatically turn off the device instead of keeping it on. That's my little rant. Buy it if you want it. Don't if you don't. Um, but I did like it. I did like the fact that I could game with it. So being able to game with it is a plus. It worked with my tablet. That's another plus, and it worked with my work. So that's another plus. But for me, the negative of no off switch just makes this not useful for me. It's more like something I can give to my daughter or a friend or somebody because, yeah, they can deal with batteries. I won't. 